I was having an air in the uh, in just one of my jets. So what I did, like some of the videos you see, I put water around the uh, these two particular drains off of this uh, pump to see if it would uh, quit bringing in the air. I actually just used a water bottle with soap in it. Just kept spraying it. Didn't have any change at that point. It, uh, there's little O-rings in there. You take them out and look at them, see if they're dried up. Uh, but I did that and sprayed them anyway. You can use a water hose, continue to spray on the on whatever fittings you see. And the water supposedly you know, gets pulled in and takes out the, uh, or basically seals it off to figure out where it's leaking. Uh, what I did is I got these, you know, these are regular valves all right here. So these two mechanical valves, or electric valves rather, servos, they're uh, turning all the time. I have all mine. I keep mine in one spot. The, the other valves here, I keep them in one spot all the time. So what I did with this, I started spraying the soap around that, and I noticed in my strainer bucket, I noticed the air kept uh, slowly evacuating, you know, going away. So... Uh, there's other things you can check, but it's usually the moving parts. I try sealing the basket. There's a rubber seal in there. I tried to do that first because that's supposedly where it happens most of the time, but mine ended up being there. So something else to check. It's got a it's got a gasket on the perimeter of this. We can show you that. And there's two gaskets inside here, O-rings actually. So here's the O-ring I took out, and uh, Let's see, you can see right there, it's dried out and it went on the perimeter, the larger there. It also has these two on the shaft. This goes down inside that, inside that servo and rotates. Mine rotates spall and filter like everybody else's does, spall and pull. Anyway, it's got those two. When these seals are kind of smashed out and fat, they kind of go out. So I'm gonna uh, start having issues too. So I replace those I always try to keep see how that one looks compared to the other one and uh, but anyway I'm replacing that with these new gaskets I'm gonna try this lube stuff for the hell of it it's a super lube synthetic grease says it's okay for Marines PTFE paste try that but anyway I couldn't find a good video and this is probably not that good of a video but at least it talks about uh, how to figure it out by running a water hose over the seals so and yeah, some people will see that screwdriver and know you can't buy it anymore. <laughs> it's a really cool rigid tool, rigid screwdriver, a drill impact really, but as you put pressure on it, it uh, basically runs just by putting pressure on it. But more pressure, the more impact you get. Wish I could find another one.